Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the cryptocurrencies. Okay, so first up we're going to take a look at Bitcoin here. This is going to be, uh, yeah, this is uh, Coinbase. So this is the Bitcoin Coinbase chart. And, and as you can see um, in the last chart, we, we were looking for a bounce off the 50-day simple moving average. And that did happen. The, the candles got back above the, the middle Bollinger Band, which is this solid purple line. And, and so we were looking for uh, you know that level to hold and for a new uptrend to begin. And so that uh, you know did not happen. Um, as you can see here, a uh, descending uh, re resistance line has formed. A and so uh, what's going on now is it's pulled back to the 50-day uh, uh, simple moving average, and it's currently hitting that level right now. It's right back at that green line. So right where it was last time, it's right below the middle Bollinger Band. As you can see here, the uh, 50 and the middle Bollinger Band are getting ready to cross. And that would be <clears throat> a bearish cross for the, the, the middle Bollinger Band is the 20-day simple moving average. So having it cross over the 50-day simple moving average to the downside signals the chart is cooling down and, and so and losing strength. And so it would be better if it bounced off of that and headed higher. If you're a bull, um, you want to see a bounce right here after four red candles in a row this is where it should bounce uh, volume it's, it has a declining volume pattern it, it needs a bullish volume spike and a push back above that middle bollinger band uh, currently at 14850 if 14850 turns into resistance and then the 50-day simple moving average at 14.154 fails to hold, you could see a pullback down here to the uh, prior support level, <laughs> which is down at 12.841. And so that, that's going to be the big level to hold. So if it does drop below uh, this 50-day simple moving average and then it breaks below 12.841, that's when you could see a big drop down to the 100 simple moving average down here near $10,000. So uh, keep an eye on it right now. It's at a very crucial level, so we'll look at it tomorrow and see if it can bounce. This is the Bitcoin Bitstamp chart. And so it's very similar, the, the same setup here where we have the, uh, you have a, a descending resistance line. Notice it made a top, it came down, and then it made a lower high. And so that's a red flag. You know, you want to see a higher high made. That that would signal the chart strong and it wants to head higher. The lower high is signaling, uh, you know, you know uh, downside risk. Uh, it, it's signaling that, that uh, you know, it could pull back. It, it's at the key level. It bounced off the 50 50-day simple moving average last time. It's back at that level, four red candles in a row. Um, if you look down here at the volume bars, you can see very light, you know, very light volume yesterday for for uh, you know red red volume bars in a row uh, a green volume spike is what the bulls are looking for They're looking for a volume spike and then a push through resistance so so far volume is light today um, it, what, what needs if, it, if that resistance fails to hold then you could see a drop down here to this 12 6 1 6 level that was the prior support level that's the big level to hold in the chart if it breaks that 12 6 1 6 you know the big level besides the 50 you know you could see a drop all the way down to that hundred simple moving average down down near 10,000. Now, now, if it can get back above that middle Bollinger Band at 14,766, that's the, the uh, purple line, it, it could head higher. It has to break above the, the high closed horizontal resistance level from the 6, which is up here at 17,122. So, so yeah, so uh, this is a crucial level. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it and see if it can bounce uh, today or tomorrow. If not, there, there could be more downside risk. Okay, so look at Bitcoin Cash. Okay, this is the Bitstamp chart. As you can see, this the, the, this has not been charted for very long. Um, it, it, it has uh, tight Bollinger Bands right now. It, and then not only are the Bollinger Band tights, this, this is the upper Bollinger Band, this is the lower Bollinger Band, but but it's in a very tight channel right now. If you notice here, the, the, the candles for the last uh, few weeks ha have been forming, uh, you know, between this uh, two, two, six, uh, two, five, five, uh, five and uh, two two four five level, you know, so it's a very tight trading range, just just a few hundred dollars there in between, and so uh, it, one of those levels is going to break soon, and so if it drops below the 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 two two four five support in this lower Bollinger Band, that's when you could see a drop down here, and, and it could test the the prior uh, uh, support levels. You know, you have uh, down here. Uh, uh, yeah, it, you know the, the the low was down here at twelve twelve one, 
and, and so that's the risk if it breaks that 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 lower Bollinger Band. You know, it could work its way down to that previous low from the from the open. Now, now that would be the extreme. Now, now if it could get above the middle Bollinger Band at, at two five five four, then it could push higher. And to the upside, what you want to see if you're a bull is a break above three seven one two. That's the high close. And so a break above that, that's going to signal it wants to head higher. So keep an eye on it when the Bollinger Bands are tight and you're, it's in a tight channel like this. It, it signals that the change in trend should be coming soon and so just keep an eye on it if it's a break above resistance that signals it wants to head higher break below support it signals it wants to head lower notice it's been on very light volume so it looks like it's setting up um, if you look at BTG Bitcoin Gold, um, it, it's similar as well. It has the very tight Bollinger Bands. Look at the upper Bollinger Band and the lower Bollinger Band. You know, very tight trading range here. Um, it, it does have this descending resistance line happening with with the horizontal support. So, so this is a descending triangle pattern. And so, if we can break above that red line in the middle Bollinger Band, which is this uh, uh, purple line in the middle, then, then that would signal that it wants to head higher. It has to get above the 50-day simple moving average at 275. So 275 and then uh, right here at 247 are the two big levels to break. Uh, the, the big level to hold is right down here around 233, uh, 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 231. And, and then uh, right here at, at uh, the, the, the low close, which was uh, around 2. Uh, uh, what is that 217 and, and so basically if that breaks that the, then you could see it pull back test these prior levels you know there's 155 and 97 when you get a super tight Bollinger Bands like this I mean notice this is the tightest the Bollinger Bands have been it, it, it signals that 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 a move should be coming soon that this consolidation should be ending soon and a new trend should begin so so we're going to keep an eye on it and see if it could possibly break out above resistance now look at ethereum here this has been on quite a run you know it's hitting 13 uh, 161 dollars 1361 it's amazing it look, look at all the green candles in a row they are just walking it higher every single day people are buying this pushing it higher pushing it higher it's writing ema for support it's getting very parabolic i mean just think about what's happened to the other cryptocurrencies that ha have had this similar pattern. They have had pullbacks. And Ethereum will be no different. I mean, of course, it has lots of upside. But, um, you know, when, when stocks, uh, you know, nothing goes straight up. And, and pullbacks can be healthy for the chart. So just keep that in mind. You know, a dip could be a load opportunity. Um, it, it, if EMA4 here at 1237 breaks, that's the pink line, that's going to be your signal that it's finally cooling down. Look at how every single green candle has closed above that level. Um, the middle Bollinger Band held when tested. That, that's the downside risk. If that EMA4 breaks, you know, it could consolidate and possibly head down to that middle Bollinger Band way down at 874. I mean, that happened right here. You know, there was a red candle. It worked its way to the middle Bollinger Band. You know, it hit the middle Bollinger Band here. It, you had the, uh, 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 you know, red candles here. They worked their way back to the middle Bollinger Band. So it has a history of doing that. And, and, and so it could very well do that again. And that would be a big haircut from the current level. So keep that in mind. It is a beautiful run. You know, down here, this annotations was actually from down here on December 10th. And we were looking for a break above resistance, and that happened to happen right the very next day on the 11th. And so this candle on the 11th, that was your big signal that it was breaking out higher. And it's been running ever since. Um, you know, just keep in mind that... that uh, if that EMA4 breaks, that's going to be your clue that it's starting to cool down. Okay, let's look at Ripple. Okay, so so XRP has been pulling back, you know, and and this is you know it had the big run, and then now it's it's pulling back. I wanted to show you this chart first. I know it's difficult to read, but it's hitting this key line right here, and this red line right here. This is the the middle Bollinger Band, and it needs to bounce off that level. It's currently at 186. Right now, it's below that level. If 186 Six turns into resistance for Ripple, a bit stamp. That's going to be uh, very bearish. It could signal the start of a new downtrend. It's already corrected. It has to bounce from this level. The, the downside risk is if the middle Bollinger Band at 186 turns into resistance, you could possibly see a drop all the way down to this green line, which is the 50-day simple moving average at 98. Basically, you could go from uh, 180 to a dollar 
uh, without much support in between. So, so keep that in mind. This is where it has to bounce technically. If it fails to bounce and it closes below and that middle Bollinger Band and 186 resistance zone turns into resistance, that's going to be your signal that, that the chart's broken and that the bears are in control. They're already, uh, notice that the candles, okay, right here are on the 7th, the close was above the pink line, and then notice on the 8th, the close was below the pink line. That's below EMA4. And then notice each candle is below that level, and now the bears are in control. Notice that when it was running, I know it's hard to see here, but look at how all these candles are above the pink line, right? And then, bam, now they're below. That They flip the script. You just have to go with the flow. There's no way, if you're just the little person that's trading this, that, that, that you can control ripple all you can do is jump in and jump out you know with the flow and they flip the program now now they have the program on sell so now you have to wait until they they flip it back to buy if, if you're going to be long otherwise you're going to be holding while it's heading lower it's always a risk to hold when the candles are riding ema for ema four and eight resistance lower i mean they just are okay so let's make this chart a little bit easier to read i took off the bollinger bands um so 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 <clears throat> you can see the big run you know, we, we had it down here at, at 40 cents in the breakout. You know, we had it lower in the 20s. And it broke out above the 40s. We put out the alerts. It ran, 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 ran. And then notice that the whole time it was running, you know, it kept holding EMAs 4 and 8. It would come back, hold EMA 4, bounce off EMA 8. It kept holding that pink and lime line the whole time. But then notice the close below right here on the 8th. And that was your big red flag. Okay, so there was a climax spike here on the 4th. And so you have the, the, the doji, right, the, the big doji, and then, and then the pullback from the high, and, the, and then it failed to get back above that level. It struggled with getting above the, the, the resistance zone there at, uh, what, what is that, at the 270 resistance zone. And then once you get the close below EMAs 4 and 8, that's the change in trend. I mean, this was they were holding the entire time, and and then it's like it's like a roller coaster ride. You go up, 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 and then and then right when it heads over, whoa! Watch out below, and it could freaking gain momentum and head all the way down to this green line. I mean, it's at 180 now while I'm speaking, so it's not looking good. It has to be above 160. Remember that. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, XRP, you know, the Fibonacci retrace happens, you know, and that, that, that gives traders a chance. You just want, these are trading vehicles. You know, that's what they're for. Every, and people are buying these as spec, you know, most people are speculating. And, and so you just want to be on the right side of the trade. If you're a long-term investor, that's another thing. Um, but yeah, so, so we'll look here at uh, Litecoin. And a lot of people are, and the, these have made people wealthy, you know, very rich overnight. So uh, in a short period of time. So yeah, so there's nothing wrong with buying and holding these things. You know, we're just uh, looking at this as a, 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 a short-term trading vehicle. And, 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 and you can also use this analysis for uh, entry and exit on your uh, longer-term positions as well. Uh, you know, everybody can adjust uh, the analysis to their own uh, uh, trading strategy, but the analysis never changes. The, the analysis is always the same. And so here for Litecoin, you can see it has the descending resistance. It made the top. It came down came back up, it failed to make another high, and now it's back below. And notice how it had an ascending support line happening, and then that broke, and so so it needs to get back above. Once again, this is below EMAs 4, 8, and 13. That does signal downside risk. This could drop down to 207. Uh, it, the, uh, yeah, my uh, support and resistance levels changed a little bit. But uh, yeah, 211 is going to be the big level. So uh, it, it has to get back above, uh, you know, that... that, that uh, uh, 204 level and, and uh, get back above 250, the 250 resistance zone. So they're all combined. You have EMAs 4, 8, and 13 all combined uh, right around 250, 251. So if you can get back above 250, 251, that'd be great. And then it has to break above this red descending resistance line and, and, and then push above 280. And so it, it's 250, 263, 280. Get above those levels, then it could get moving again. And you could see it back up near 350. If you see it fail to get back above uh, EMAs 4 and 8, that's going to be a red flag. And then you could easily see a drop down to test that that uh, lower support at 211. And then notice it's lined up with the 50-day simple moving average at 204. So th that's the you know downside risk is a drop down to test that 200 support zone. Okay, let's look at XMR. So yeah, so Monero uh, came down. 
uh, you know, have the really nice uptrend. Notice how when, when it broke support, it, 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 it EMA's 4 and 8 support, it held the middle Bollinger Band. It got below the middle Bollinger Band for a day on, on the 30th. And then, it, and then it worked its way back up. You know, it didn't. It, it only took a day for it to uh, form a green candle and start pushing higher. And it's been back above the middle Bollinger Band, so so it's trying to push higher. Right now, it's the closing price on the 21st. That's the big level to break at 418. If you're a bull, and if you get above 418, then it can run up to 470. 470 is the high close, the all-time high close. If you can get above 470, that'll signal it wants to break out higher. Now, now it, it, it's above the middle Bollinger Band. It's trying to hold on to EMA4, currently at 397. It, if, it, if it fails to hold on to 397, then you're looking at the middle Bollinger Band at 360, could, could possibly be tested. And then that's the big level. That's this purple line in the middle here. If that breaks, then you could see a drop down to 300. That This 303 was the uh, support level. And notice how it's lined up with the 50-day simple moving average at 296. So the downside risk, if EMAs 4 and 8 fail to hold and then it drops below the middle Bollinger Band, is a drop all the way down to 300. So keep that in mind. You know, it, 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 they've been struggling, but they're hanging in there. We'll, we'll see uh, how if it can, you know, hang on to this uptrend. Okay, let's look at salt. So this is this is one that um, you know uh, it, it's it's uh, just just uh, started trading. You know, it doesn't have uh, you know the very very much trading history just from back here in October. And, and then you know we were looking for that break above six, and then that happened back over here on the twenty first. And then yeah yeah six is right here zero 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 six six one we were calling it and then and then it came up it ran up to a high on the twenty eighth and then notice it came all the way back and then it bounced off that six support zone so this this red line um, used to be uh, resistance and so now it's uh, it turned into support and, and so that held and then it came back up and, and then so now it's making a lower high. And so it needs to come up and make a higher high. You know, it it could form a pattern like some of the other ones. Um, you know, uh, it might be a little uh, early to be drawing the trend line here, but uh, you know, it's got to come up and make 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 new a new high here. Um, it, it it's got to uh, uh, come back up to uh, it, which is uh, up here near uh, twelve. Uh, Eleven seven four. I mean, you know, th this just uh, started trading. It's, uh, you know, that their business is just getting going, and, and so yeah, I'm sure this will be trading at much higher levels in the future. Um, we're just following the charts here, and so uh, if it can't get above this uh, ten resistance zone, it, it, you know, th th then that then it could come down here and test that middle Bollinger Band at nine. Okay, so that's this purple line, break below nine, and then it's back down here testing six. The fifty simple. 50-day simple moving average is down here at six. So, so uh, yeah, above ten, and then you have twelve. Break above twelve, and that signals it, it's back on track to keep breaking out higher. Um, yeah, so keep an eye on salt. You know, it has a lot of upside potential, but you know, you have to follow the charts. Um, let's look at TRX. Okay, yeah, so this had that monster move, and then it had the whole Jack Ma is involved explosion. You know, everybody was jumping in, and then it had this candle here, and, and, and you can't. You know, even with the cryptocurrencies, you still have to follow the candles. And this was a big indecision candle. This long upper wick from the top. It, it, you know, this was signaling profit taking. Um, you know, the, to, to lock them in. You know, it had the long upper wick on the bottom. You know, this is a spinning top. You know, when you see this formed at the top, you know, and, and also, you know, it, it it closed below the previous open. You know, it formed the red candle. You know, that that's signaling downside risk, and and, and the candles, you know, ended up working their way back into the bands. Um, you you have it right now hitting EMA thirteen. That's the big level to hold. That's down here at seven eight nine. And so if it can hold seven eight nine, th this is where it should bounce. You want to see a bounce right here, and then get back above EMAs four and eight. Uh, currently, right around nine. The, the pink and lime lines, and then that would get it back on track to head back up here. You know, the high close is up here at 13.5. Uh, to, to the downside, if it if it breaks below EMA 13, you know now you're looking at high close support at 6.3, and then uh, down here at 5.28. The 50 simple moving average is way down here at 2.81. So yeah, so so yeah, it it it, they, they are, it has lighter volume right now. Um, it had bigger volume on uh, on the push up. You, you want to see a bullish volume spike if you're a bull in a push through EMAs four and eight resistance. Okay, and so the last one in this video is ADA. BTC and, and as you can see here, it's it's been pulling back. Um, it's gaining some momentum to the downside right now. Um, a, a, a pretty solid uh, red candles forming. Um, it dropped below EMA's four and eight support. 
uh, you know, it broke below EMA. Uh, you know, it, it, it's been, it's been, you know, broke below EMA four back here on the fifth, and that was your red flag, along with the, uh, uh, the, the this uh, nether spinning top. Notice how you had the spinning top at the top of the red. You know, this was all signals that it was cooling down, and, and so now that it's dropped below EMAs four, eight, and thirteen, it could get moving uh, lower. You know, it could, could gain some momentum to the downside. It really needs to hold this uh, pr previous support level at 4.79. That's what it's hitting right now, the previous close. Because if that breaks, then you could see a drop all the way down here to 3.6. So, yeah, and then, you know, you have the 50-day simple moving average way down here at 2.6. Uh, a big support level was right here at 3, 3.05. So, yeah, that, that was a big resistance level. It should be support on a pullback. So yeah, thank you very much for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about uh, you know charting cryptocurrencies, uh, come check us out at our chat. Um, I'll post the link below the YouTube video. All right, thank you.